On this week's episode of Code Blue Now, Josh cooks up a segment of Saucing with Solomon and Chuck and Gavin tailgate for the last week of school. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Hey Bulldogs, I'm Madison Burnett here with Amy Yip and welcome back to the last episode of Code Blue Now, Season 5. Now. Good morning, Bulldogs. Happy last day of school, and it's also a rather special day for us here at CBN because we've, we've hit 185, 185 episodes. episodes! We wouldn't have been able to reach that milestone without you, the viewers, watching our show every Friday morning. Thank you all for tuning in every week, but now back to your regularly scheduled program. Quick reminder that HCAM is holding HCAMP over the summer. From August 7th to 11th, incoming 6th and 7th graders will have the chance to learn a little bit more about video production. It is $200 for each student and $100 if you bring an additional sibling. Don't miss out on the great opportunity. Enough with the announcements for now. Even though it's the last day, it's time for another segment. Let's sauce it over to Josh for the first episode of Saucing with Solomon. Josh, all yours. Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Saucing with Solomon. The only CBN cooking show there is alive to date, last week of school, here we go. I'm here with John, he's gonna be my, my right hand man, my left hand man, my right hand man, my assistant chef. John, what would you like to say to, to our audience? I'm very excited for the cooking show today. Um, I'm very excited to marinate the steak with you, my good friend, my good sir, my colleague, my partner in crime, ally. You always uh, talk so Joshua much. Solomon. Uh, no, not really, but I think, you know, just let the camera talk for us and let the food talk for us for mm, tonight. I like that. And. Let's go inside and marinate that steak. Sounds good. here we got the ingredients we got the meat hear that that's when you know it's good yeah come on come here come here check this out here it's saying prime beef rib made out of beef yes chef should i do you want to trade pieces chef trade pieces of what steak sir yes please i'll give you the scored pe look at this oh you know your body does something similar with your uh with your muscles to increase the uh the surface yeah you are chef i learned it from miss toy okay yeah. pretty good to treat every ingredient with respect in respect to the food only smart people are going to get that they don't simply create food the food wills itself into existence through the hands of the chef you see through the hands of mankind isn't that right chef you taught me that did somebody ask you to talk Yes, sir. Sorry, and don't... Tip the point down, John. Gets you angled cuts. Angled cuts. There we go. While he struggles with this, come follow me. Come follow the mask. Oh, Lord. Look at this juice popping down. After a day, it's really gonna get in all nice and... Look at that right here, finely diced, finely sliced. That is professionalism. Now, we're going to take, don't focus on it, focus on it. Put, put it back on me, put it back on me, put it back on me. Yeah, I need the attention, give me the attention. Now. 
Shut up. Right. Very important that you take the salt in your hand. That way you can control it very specifically. So I like to count the, uh, the individual crystals of salt. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're going to come back in here with our black pepper. Boom. Ah, that's where you're wrong. You don't just put it in, in your hand. Uh, look at that. Look at that. With the oregano, we don't need that much. It's, it gives it, it gives it a very earthy, smoky flavor. Can I do the honor, Jeff? <laughs> Why, of course, John. To apply our garlic to the brew. Look at that. Beautiful, masterful. Now, sometimes it takes a guiding hand to share the wealth. And there you have it. The only thing left now is to wait for 24 hours or one day or three Solomons. That is it. We will see you all tomorrow. I can't wait to see how that's gonna go. I kind of wish I was there to see the magic happen, but anyways. Any student who is interested in purchasing a yearbook, please see or email Ms. Morgan as soon as possible. We'd also like to congratulate those who were recently elected to leadership positions of best buddies for next school year. Treasurer Abigail DeMarco, Secretary Colin O'Brien. Buddy Director Madison D'Souza, Vice President Natalie Morales, and President Amanda Yanez. Congratulations, you five. I can't wait to see what the best buddies program will do next year. Did you hear that, Amy? What? I think it's Josh in the kitchen again. You think? Well, let's see what the Solomon has in store for us now. And here we are, one day later, looking at our steak. Ooh, you can really see that the juice has simmered. You can't smell it, but it smells, smells faintly of garlic. I'm gonna take our mushrooms. Get a good angle for this one. Get a good, you got a good angle? Mm -hmm. Look at that. And we are back. Look at this. Perfection. Nice and caramelized. You hear that? And we're back. Most of the food is pretty much done cooking. So now we're going to set up the table for our guests. Right here we have Simply Fruit Punch, the juice drink. And right over here we have Pina Colada, non-alcoholic assured. We've got to bust out the fancy glasses. Boom, stick them on there. Look at that. Service meant for a king. <sighs> the meat is ready. Okay, let's go grab it. Mm, so succulent. I've done myself this time. Mm. Lordy, lordy, lord. I already know that that taste test is going to be so good. It'll be hilarious to say the least. Same thing, but attention to any student in need of a worker's permit. Please reach out to Ms. Moriarty. Be sure to see your own primary care doctor if you need and being cleared for employment. And now it's time to bring it over to Chuck and Gavin for who tailgated finals? Let's not ask any questions and roll the clip. This is the first day of the finals. Me and Gavin have the exact same finals today. Um, first history, the math. It's day one of tailgating finals. Today we have a cereal mix. Tailgating finals, baby! I actually do it. I'm ending the rest. I don't. What are you most excited about? See Mr. Tool. What are you least excited about? Math. Easy, it's like 25 questions. 25 questions. Just guess. Not guess. Happen. Finley's here today. He's not this guy. No, that's not this guy. That's a little country. A little country. Rookie of the year is what they call him. Finley, what are you most excited about? Um, I would say nothing because I have, um, it's in the car. No. Because I have history and math, and those are the hardest classes for my friends. What's that? You know what the essays are? No. Yeah. Okay. I wrote it. Okay. Okay. This is a family breakfast. This, this is, is a actually family a family breakfast. breakfast. I am a, I am a uh, more at the end of the day. It's only 10% of your grade, guys. Don't be nervous. It's only 10%. Yeah. 
I feel like half of this is gonna be us going like this. Uh, if you had to rate the Fruity Pebbles out of 10, Gavin, what would it be? Right now, 10. I'm a real talk though, like, is this like Good Eats off brand? Yeah. This is like IG Good Eats. That's it. Day one complete. Day one. We're cooking an egg for finals. What's that? Pan? Cooking spray. Butter flavored. Is it even on? It's, it's red. It's heating up. They're just eggs. Boom. One egg. There's gonna be a little bit of shell in there. No, no shell. Guaranteed oh no shell. Did a shell fall in there? Nope. <laughs> this is... Hey, look, no shell. No shell again. Finals day two. Uh, we both have environmental science and gym today. There it goes. There's no shells in there. Time check. Oh, actually, there is a shell. 716. Stop, stop, stop. Guaranteed oh no shell. God. There is a shell, so you're there trying to kill me. <laughs> we have the ingredients, the cheese, the tomatoes, and uh, whatever, onions. and onions. A little oh, omelet action. really good. It does smell good. Woo! Woo! Smell that. that smells fresh, buddy. Red onions, though? Those are tomatoes. Those are uh, called red onions. They're not red. them red they're onions. They're not red. All right. Well, they call it a red onion if you're not red. So uh, I was thinking on the last day, like, as much as I don't want to put effort into, you know, all this, if people are coming, we need to, like, step up our game, dude. I think we shouldn't even do anything at all. We just leave them. Just leave them. Tell them to show up. We just don't show up. I'm a little nervous about these eggs right now. Are you a chef, dude? Tell me about these tortillas. Um, we use them for tacos. I told you to turn it down. Okay. Here we go. Is it good though? Mm -hmm. I feel good. You know who could have made this be video better? Mary Walker. Yep. Shout out Mary just Walker. Made fun of us, so. Chuck. Hey, it looks better actually, yeah. Right, let me get your tortilla out, sir. Yes, please. This one kind of ripped. And I got the other one. You want this one? Bro, these rip so easily. Man, they're pretty bad. Cause they don't have carbs in them. <laughs> That's a bad one. Wrap this up here. Day three. In the books. In the books. You're stepping oh. on eggs. It's fine. How do you stepping enjoy on it? On eggshells. Uh, I think the burritos were good, Gavin. I think you did a good job. Thank you. And uh, that's about it. Oh! Now day three. Free country. Sign. This is like been very interesting. I'm glad we did it though. Making waffles. Making today. waffles today. Making uh, let's do let's just fill the thing. Let's do four. Beautiful. Do you want a waffle? The butter. Uh, syrup. Of course. It's a lot of butter in there. I, I like to put. Um, so much butter. I like to put cinnamon oh. in the butter and just mix it up. Uh, Quick word from Jordan. We'll be back in a minute. What's up, guys? It's Jordan. This program was brought to you in part by the Jordan Choppy Association. Back to you. Good morning. This morning. Great. You want some waffles? You want some waffles? You have to pay. You're gonna have to pay. So ten dollars uh, cash up, right. and there's a tip too. So I can't wait this long. We should just eat them frozen. Is that good, Chuck? Ah, right, Chuck, your waffle's done. Are you sure it's done? Yep. Excuse me? Like, so put it down? Yep. No, nope, not like that. Here you go. Take it. Oh, eat it. You want syrup? No, thank you. What the hell? How do you guys eat? How do you do that? Take it. Take it and get out of here. What, is it good? What? Is it good? Yeah. Ah! Yes! They Two customers it. satisfied. That's, I like that. Satisfied. They didn't tip us or pay us. So, but, um, how is it? Cold. Is it? Bro, I told you they're. Are these warm? Not, oh, middle. those are hot. Now we're gonna make it like a taco. I'll, I'll, I'll give you her reaction. Is it good? Delicious. Delicious. Another happy customer. Oh no, I'm just gonna hold my syrup over the trash. I'm so ready. I'm, I'm gonna run a lap. I'm ready for finals all what? freaking week. I'm gonna go run a lap around the track. I'm feeling so confident, Chuck. Okay. Oh yeah, confident. Confident! Don't pass me. <sighs> you need Nutella? Nope. Just syrup? Unfortunately. Yep. What a waffle place this is. This is fantastic. What are you guys calling your place of business? Illegal operation. Oh, there's pasta sauce on that. What? 
<laughs> All right, taste test. One bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> no, back up, Finn. That's just fantastic. Good. Come again. There it is. Woo! The last one, sadly. We had cereal, egg, and waffle. It's cold. Uh, bye. That was definitely something. We have a quick announcement of how the schedule is going to work today. Behind us is a list of times for your classes today. Be sure to keep these in mind when heading into your next classes. I don't think we have any more announcements left, Amy, but we should address the elephant in the room and carry on with Saucing with Solomon, you think? Never once have I agreed with you more. I'm dying to see what our judge has to say about the food. Well, let's stop wasting any more time. Take it away, Josh. And the guest is here. Let's go outside and meet Kay Bando. Tarski's special. It's uh -huh. Corner's bread. Mm -hmm. Topped off uh, with some butter, some extra right here if you'd like. All right, let's dig into this. I'll have to give this one 9.5 out of 10. Let's go! 9.5 out of 10. It is home cooked on top of that too, compared to what we usually eat. Let me... And there you have it, Tarski special. Enjoying our day, beautiful day, sipping on. Sipping on fruit punch, fruit punch right here. Have a nice day, have a nice summer, and we'll see you all next year. Wow, Amy, this is actually the second year in a row we are closing the season with a food segment. I mean, they did eat both literally and metaphorically. Well, if four plus four is eight, then I think we've had such a great season, and I can't wait to see how we are next year. I'd argue the best season CBN has ever had, but you do you. Well, that wraps it up for this season. I'm Amy Yip. And I'm Madison Burnett. See you next year for a brand new season of Code Blue Now.